And I understand you're going to do one more <laughs> of your poems for up, yes. us called Evaluating Black Privilege. Yes. That's a thing, black privilege? Black privilege, as I say in my poem, is a myth. Um, I often have conversations with people talking about their privilege, and then they, they feel the need to tell me about my non- I, I, have, a priv I have privilege, you know, I, I'm a walking human being. I can walk, I'm not in a wheelchair. I do have a privilege, but I don't have privileges that other people may have, and-, and um, Let's hear the poetry version. Yes. <clears throat> on evaluating black privilege. Black privilege is the hung elephant swinging in the room, is the memory of a slave ship praying for the Alzheimer's to kick in. Black privilege is me having already memorized my nephew's eulogy, my brother's eulogy, my father's eulogy, my unconceived child's eulogy, Black privilege is me thinking my sister's name safe from this list. Black privilege is me pretending like I know Trayvon Martin on a first name basis. It's me using a dead boy's name to win a poetry slam. It's me carrying a mouthful of other people's skeletons to use at my own convenience. Black privilege is the concrete that holds my breath better than my lungs do. Black privilege is always having to be the strong one. It's having a crowbar for a spine. It's fighting, even when you have no more blood to give, even when you have lost sight of your bones, even when your mother prayed for you, even after they prepared your body for the funeral. Black privilege is being so unique that not even God will look like you. Black privilege is still being the first person in line to meet him. Black privilege is having the same sense of humor as Jesus. Remember how he smiled on the cross? The same way Malcolm X laughed at his bullet, and there I go again, asserting my black privilege, using a dead man's name without his permission. I can feel his maggots congregating in my mouth. Black privilege is a myth, is a joke, is a punchline, is that time a teacher asked a little boy what he wanted to be when he grew up, and he said alive, is the way she laughed when she said there's no college for that ignorance, is the only thing that won't discriminate against you, is the only thing that don't need a tombstone to learn your name, and it's tiring, you know, for everything about my skin to be a metaphor, for everything black to be pun intended, to be deaf and tended. Black privilege is the applause at the end of this poem. It's me giving you a dead boy's body and you giving me a 10. It's me being okay with that. And I tried writing a love poem the other day, but my fingers wouldn't move. My skin started to blister like it didn't trust me anymore, like I thought I'd forsaken it for something prettier, something smoother to wrap around my bones like I was trading in my news for a pearl necklace. Some days I'm afraid to look into the mirror for fear that a bullet George Zimmerman its way into my chest while I was asleep. The breath in my mouth is weapon enough to scare a courtroom. I'll be lucky if I'm alive to make it to the stand. For some people, their trials live longer than they do. Black privilege is knowing that if I die, at least Al Sharpton will come to my funeral. At least Al Sharpton will mason jar my mother's tears, remind us that the only thing we are worthy of is our death. We are judged by the number of people it takes to carry our casket. Black privilege is me thinking that's enough, is me thinking this poem is enough. Black privilege is this, is this breath in my lungs right now, is me standing here with a crowd full of witnesses to my heartbeat. Wow, so powerful.